Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. First thing you want to do is chop some onion. And we want long slices of some yellow and some red onion. We're also going to need some chopped garlic and some fresh parsley. And in a hot pan you want to drizzle some olive oil and start cooking these onions because these are going to take the longest. We want to work on sweating them and getting them to a caramelized state. It's going to take approximately 20 minutes. Now here I've got a pound of ground bison. It's leaner and the cholesterol is low. The only downside it's a little bit spindy. You want to just break it up like this and get ready to season it because there's not a lot of fat content. I'm hitting it with some beef bouillon and a little bit of black pepper. Bouillon has plenty of salt so we won't be adding any of that today. But all you want to do is roll out your hamburgers, flatten them out real nice, about this thickness here, and then what I like to do is lay it down into some wax paper. Then I can smash it with my hand here a little bit more evenly. And what you're going for is a burger a little bit bigger than the bun. That will help offset the shrinkage you'll get from the cooking. Now as you can see our onions are coming along just fine. But we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of sugar. Sweeten it up a little bit a little bit of Italian seasoning and our fresh garlic. It's a good time to go ahead and throw in that parsley as well. Then immediately follow with some beef broth, a little bit of wine, and you want to have this over a high heat so you can cook it off immediately. And once all the liquid's gone it should look something like this. I just like to open it up a little bit and throw in some butter. And all you've got to do is wait for it to melt and stir it into the onions. This is a good time to throw in a bay leaf because at this point you've pretty much added all of the ingredients that a French onion soup would normally have. And once you've given it one last toss you can go ahead and throw it down on a plate and let them cool down a little bit. It's only going to take a few more minutes to cook our bison burger. Don't forget to butter our buns and throw those down on the grill. As you can see I'm using an onion bun to help fit the theme. Now the burgers usually take about three minutes per side but I like to flip back and forth twice to get those crossed grill marks like this. So I'm going to turn it over every minute and a half. And I'm going to do the same thing to the buns as well. Then I like to hit the bottom with some mayonnaise. And then we'll take this burger right over to a hot skillet. Center it up. And then I'm going to hit it with two pieces of Swiss cheese. Immediately followed by some beef broth. And then cover with a lid so the steam can melt the cheese. And when it's done should look something like this. Then top it off with those French onions and give it a crown. And there you have it. French onion style bison burger right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.